Welcome to Spitfire Mods. This video is uh, just to go over our our hyperspin front end with the main wheel. Uh, basically, this is contains all the different main games. Um, pretty much every arcade they had come out with. There's approximately uh, eight to nine thousand games on here. Uh, it's going to be only the, using the name emulator. So when you boot up the console, it's going to come up into an alphabetical list of all the different arcade games. So you're going to have a lot of a lot of fighters, you know, a lot of Street Fighter games, you know, Tekken Tag Tournament, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Um, then you're also going to have Tetris and Pac-Man, Miss Pac-Man, Galaga, Galaxian, Centipede, stuff like that. Now. This menu is a PC front end, so it supports pretty much any any accessory you want to put on. So you, whether you want a trackball, a spinner, a joystick, two joysticks, four joysticks, you know, six players, you know, however many players you want. Each game will support its own set of game set of players. So um, it, let's say you play Pac-Man. Pac-Man's a two-player game, so it's going to support two different two different players. You know, if you play a Street Fighter, it probably supports four players. So this system will work with pretty much any control panel you design so let's if you want a four player machine you can build a four player machine if you want a two player machine you can build a two player machine if you want to put a gun on it so you can play the shooter games yeah you can play that but as you can see there's a very large list of different games to play uh, very wide variety I mean the big thing with this this is it has all the different arcade games so that you can play pretty much any arcade game you want it, uh, it covers pretty much, you know, everything. So you got you got shooters, you got drivers, you got fighting games, you got the classics, you know, and um, you really won't find any of the games missing. So any any arcade game you played uh, year, years gone by, you know, is going to be on here. So this is our complete main package. Um, it's it's able to be run on a on a decent machine. This is a dual core machine. Um, all the machines we put in are dual core processors. Uh, this particular unit is a 64-bit Optiplex system, which has been loaded with a uh, Hyperspin running on a 64-bit machine. Uh, it has 2 gigs of RAM, 160 gig hard drive, and uh, that's enough to run the main package. Uh, we'll be making another video to show you the full full package, which is um, all the emulators. So instead of just MAME, you actually have a whole wide variety of different arcade emulators that you can play. Uh, either one of them are going to have thousands of games and you know pretty much an unlimited supply of games to play. But uh, this is just a short video showing you the different things. Now, as far as going through the menu, it's gonna it's gonna sit here and rotate like it has been for the past you know time I've been talking here. But if you wanna if you wanna go through it, and there's a thing there, the zip file error. Occasionally, you're gonna have a video that just didn't have an animated front end, and that's gonna come up with a with an error. It's just gonna come up and throw up a, a blank error screen. You'll find that maybe one out of a hundred doesn't have a front end, you know. So out of all the games, you might have 60 or 70 that just don't have the video front end. Typically, the games will still play, but uh, but they're just missing that video front end. Most likely, there was never one made for that particular game. But uh, 90, 95 percent of the games are going to have a video front end. So uh, that's another thing to say. Um, this version of Hyperspin has the animated graphic for the game, so you're getting the, gra the title of the game, but then you're also having a short video presentation of the game. Uh, that's a new feature that that our package has that a lot of packages don't. It actually tells you the name of the game, you know, the, the year it was made, a little bit of information about the game, as well as gives you a sample of the game. And uh, you got the name and the date here, so it gives you a sample of the game so that you can see what you're going to play. Um, the nice thing about that is the menu is very extensive and you have a lot to choose from. So it's nice to be able to just scroll through and find, you know, if you want to play a fighter, to, to just go look through there and say, hey, I'd like to play a fighter I haven't played before. You know, you can scroll through. You know, one thing is you can just look at the names and tell pretty much, you know, what's a fighter and what's what type of, what type of game it is kind of by the name. So, uh... You can go through that, or you can just go to go to a game you want to play, uh, which is another way to do it. Now, let's say let's say we want to play Street Fighter. Rather than go through alphabetical like this, we're gonna want to go quicker. So we use the joystick up and down goes up and down the list, and then right and left pages through by letter. So we go through G H I J K, you know, all the way through to S, and then we um, 
and then we scroll down to ST, which would be Street Fighter. So you just hold the joystick down until you get to the T's. Right, O. Another thing is there's multiple versions sometimes of some of the games, so you're going to have a lot to pick from. You know, there might be two or three of each game there because they were in different things. Now, Street Fighter has probably 20 different variations, so you're going to have a whole a whole slew of different Street Fighter games here that we can pick from. You know, go Street Fighter 2, Street Fighter 3. They had a lot of different games. Street Football. <laughs> so you got a lot of different, uh, a lot of different games in the main package to pick from. Um, it's a pretty complete package. It's very easy to get through. And uh, yeah, you know, when you find one you want to play, you hit the start button, and that'll take you in there. Now the um, when you hit enter, this the emulator is going to load. It's going to basically boot up just like an original machine would boot up. So you're going to be basically emulating emulating the original arcade. So it's going to power itself up. You know, you got your credits button. You got your player start button. So you can pick your pick your character. You know, start a game. Very easy to get in, very easy to get out. If we decide we don't like this game or it's not what we wanted, we just press the back the back button and it'll take you back to the menu and you pick a different game. So it's very quick, it's there's no lag lag in it. You know, as fast as you're picking games, it's popping up the menus. So it's pretty easy to use, and um, you can get in and out of the games easy. Most of the games are going to work for you, and um, a very wide selection. Uh, it, now, any any arcade cabinet can be upgraded to MAME. Um, we're going to show you another video on different cabinets and what you can put into them. But uh, this was just our video to cover the MAME package itself and what it, what type of games it has.